There we go folks, this is going to be my very first terrarium. So what I have here is a 1.5 litre jar from Poundland. If you're in the UK you'd be familiar with that. Um, and a few days ago I went foraging in the local woods and found a variety of mosses in there. I'm not quite sure on all the types but there's a lovely mixture in there. And they even got a bit of wood as well um, from a decaying tree. And for the base layer I'm going to be using just stones that I found in the woods too. Those have been washed and I've got a bag of cocoa coir here as well just to keep the moisture good in there and hold it well and between that will be some mesh sheet. so let's get into the build. to push down the coca coir so it was nice and firm uh, it wasn't all loose uh, i had to do it off camera because it was a bit of a nuisance to try and get it down because uh, the glass kept condensating so uh, now i'm gonna add the mosses <laughs>
it looks a little bit moss heavy um, so I think I'm going to remove some bits and see if I've got some lava rock or something to put in here instead just to sort of break it up a bit as it sort of looks a bit cramped in there um, so I'll go ahead and do that some of the moss has been removed and I think that's a much nicer look um, I'm not sure how visible it is but there's sort of a ridge around the back here and there's like a slope in the middle and then a level ground so I think I'm going to add some rock between the back ridge and the bottom here and then incorporate the nice piece of wood here into it and see how that turns out Okay, I've gathered some rocks from the garden they're, or stones, they're pretty much the same as the one on the base layer um, so I'm going to put a couple of these in and I actually decided to grab some Ficus pumila oak leaf out of the Bavaria or the Paladarium and see how I can get that in there as well. I believe this is the final scape and I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I've put a light above just to show the depth of it and um, how everything's incorporated. Just zoom in a little bit. As you can see the rocks in the bottom sort of give it a push back hill sort of effect and then the wood coming up as if it's like a fallen tree and the thickest pommel obviously makes it look really nice too. Um, I'm not entirely sure on the varieties of moss in here and um, this one especially. There is some sphagnum in the back. Um, I believe there's star moss in there too. I don't think it is actually because um, they usually shoot off like little ball like spores. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not an expert. Um, but I'm very happy with that escape. 